Hi, data scientists. I'm Jessica, and today we're going to be learning about conditionals. So we're going to learn. So we're going to write Python code to store all of the courses with the course number of exactly 107. So courses like CS 107, Stat 107, etc. Into the Python variable df courses. So this question gives us a variable called df that has a bunch of information about courses given to us already. So um, we're given things like the year, the term, the subject, number, etc. So before we actually get started on this question, it might be useful to visualize what exactly df is. So our df is going to be something like this. Um, it's a table where each row is essentially a course. So our first row is AAS 100. And we get, we're given the name, it's intro to intro Asian American studies. And then we're given a bunch of other information like credit hours, degree attributes, enrollment status, etc. So each row is a different course. And this question wants us to filter this data frame to have only courses with the course number of exactly 107. So let's take a look at what steps we have to take in order to complete this problem. So the first thing that we have to do always is import pandas. So pandas is a library where all the things that have to do with data frames are stored, which is essentially everything we're doing in this class. So all of our DS, you can't use DS without pandas, no read CSV, no nothing. So it's always important to remember to import pandas as PD. Usually this line is given in pre-learn questions, but it's just something to keep in mind um, and not to forget just because you don't have to do it in homework. So next step is to think about which variable are we filtering by? So we have our original data frame um, where each row is a course and we want only the courses where the course number is equal to 107. So we need to figure out where the course number is stored. So we look at it here, the course number is stored in this number column. So we're going to be filtering by the number column. Okay, so once we're done with that, we can write out our conditional. So the conditional syntax looks something like this. We have our data frame name, the column we're filtering by. And then since we want the number to be equal to 107, we want only the courses with 107. We're going to do a double equals. And then we're going to close our brackets. And then they want our resulting data frame to be stored in something called DF courses. So we're going to set this all equal to DF courses. And this is what our output is going to be. We have only the courses. If you take a look at the number column, we have only the courses um, with the course number 107. Okay. So you might be wondering why exactly do we say DF twice? So there's actually a reason, and it might be helpful to break down this line of code a little bit in order to see what exactly we're doing here. So DF number, DF number, if we just try to output DF number, DF number prints out a column. So if we try to print out DF number, this is what we get. Just the column, just the column numbers, all the way from 100, all the way to 303. Okay. So now let's look at the next part of this. We're going to set df number equal to 107. So what this outputs, this doesn't actually output any value. All it outputs is a true or false. We're basically asking the computer a yes or no question. Does this row, does every, this row that we're on at the column number, does it or does it not equal 107? Yes or no? Yes is true and no is false. So if we do df number equals 107, what we get is actually just a bunch of true or false values. And when we're trying to output things, we want to output data frames. There's really nothing much we can do with true or false values. So that's why we add this extra df in front of everything. What this says, it's basically saying we want our data frame rows where this thing that we put inside the brackets is equal to true. So we want only the data frame rows where the DF number equals to 107 is true. So if we put everything together, DF, DF number equals 107. So where this is true, 
we're, we want our rows to print out or we want our rows to be saved into our new data frame, then we're going to get something like this, which has all of our courses with course numbers 107.